Okay, we're here with Gretchen Blyler at the uh, Cardona Parks Pro Spring Camp in New Zealand. So how have you found it so far, Gretchen? Oh, it's been fun. Um, the first week we had amazing weather and it was sunny and warm and sick. And the last few days we've had some weather, but today actually, even though it's um, even though we're in a cloud, it's still really fun because it's a little bit soft and you don't really need to see to hit the airbag anyway, so we're having a lot of fun. And how have you found using the bag jump as a training tool? Oh, it's amazing. Just having that in-between step of a, of a bag is so good for your confidence and also just being able to feel something out for the first time without, um, you know, just doing it on hill for the first time. It's, it's great for injury prevention. I mean, you still have to know what you're doing here because you can still hurt yourself, but it's just a, an in-between step. It's a little bit of training wheels, which is awesome. And I think it's really helping sort of progress our sport. I think like, you've been one of the pioneers of women's snowboarding, without making you sound too old. You're a married <laughs> woman now, so um, the, uh, it, do you see this as one of those tools which is going to make a difference in the yeah, sport? Yeah, absolutely. I think this airbag is a game changer for sure, because you've got, you've got kids up here today and these past couple of weeks who are, you know, eight, younger, a little older, and, and they're hitting the airbag. Imagine what they're going to be doing when they're 15. So it's really, it's exciting to see. It's just allowing us all to go to a place maybe, maybe we, would have, we wouldn't have been able to go before because we were too afraid to do it just on snow. You've got a project which is uh, Alex. Yep. What's that about? Alex Bottle. Um, it is a stainless steel water bottle company that I started with my husband, mother-in-law, and stepfather-in-law. And uh, basically, we've been using reusable water bottles for a long time, and we found a, um, a common problem throughout the entire industry, and that's that most bottles are really hard to clean. And eventually, they start to stink because they fill up with bacteria, and then you just throw them away. So. Um, Chris, my husband, one day was at the sink getting really frustrated trying to clean out some bottles and was on the phone with his mom and just said, first of all, I don't have time to clean these out, and then second of all, they're not even getting clean. And so uh, his mom was like, well, you should probably do something about it. So he came up with this technology. Um, it's called Clean Seam Technology, and you can open up the bottle now in the middle to clean it easily and it goes in the dishwasher, so now you can put other things in your bottle too, like smoothies and protein powder drinks. Um, and it also compacts inside of itself, so it's really nice to travel with and easy to store at home. And there's a large size, a 32 ounce and a 20 ounce size, and they mix and match to create a middle size too. So you can kind of customize your colors, customize your sizes, and you're living a clean, environmentally friendly lifestyle. I think you know, the number of bottles that end up in landfill or in the ocean, that's probably a good project. So. Yeah, that was sort of the whole point of it, was um, to make sustainability simple for everyone so that we could get off using single-serving disposable water bottles that are ending up in our waterways and also just filling up our landfills for no reason. And how's the project going? It's, you know, it's going well. Um, we're two years in and, you know, we're still a small startup company. Um, still looking to raise money and get investors there. Who's interested, please contact alexbottle.com. Um, but we've, we've already won five major design awards for it. And we're in uh, the Container Store in the U.S. and Solutions in Canada. And then specialty retailers throughout the U.S. We're trying to make it international, so working on our international distribution. But, you know, we're, we're, we're working on it. We're getting it going. Well, it sounds like a great project. And I mentioned earlier about being a pioneer of the sport is that um, you're one of the ladies who really pushed the movement of female snowboarding with starting events up and um, and now you sort of pushed it to the limit hitting the cover of the uh, ESPN body in sports. Is that right? That is right. <laughs> and uh, um, I'm, I'm sure you got a lot of attention from it but I think um, the main message seemed to be you know, to be a snowboarder, it's you know, it's just not a lifestyle, but you really have to be an athlete. Is that um, yeah. what you're trying to get across? Yeah, I think for me, my reasons for doing it, um, yeah, definitely to show that snowboarding, it's, it's not just about being a snowboarder anymore, but the level has gotten to the point where it's it's important to... to uh, to push yourself physically on the mountain and off off the mountain to make sure your body is keeping up with the level of the snowboarding, you know, with doubles and tens and 
um, just the technicality getting increasing every year, your body needs to be able to maintain that. Um, and so it's so important, um, you know, not just cardio and, and working out on that level, but um, really strength training and core and, and, and balance and explosive power. Um, and I've always, that's always been a really important part in what I do as a professional snowboarder. I've always taken it pretty seriously. Um, but I'm also just at a point in my life now where, um, you know, I'm happy to, to be out there and, and showing girls, like, it's okay to have a, um, a strong body and that that is beautiful. Because um, oftentimes in the media, as women, we're told that beautiful is skinny without any muscle tone. So um, I love that ESPN sort of celebrates the athletic body in that way. Well, I think you've, you've really stepped it up in terms of what everyone thinks about snowboarding generally in that, you know, it is a very athletic sport. And watching you and I know a lot of the comments is, on the mountain is how powerful and strong you are. And uh, when you're hitting the bag jump, for example, is that you're, you're really controlled and and um, you wouldn't be able to do that if if you weren't fit and healthy. Exactly. It's, it's so true. And I've been working really hard this all spring, summer, fall, um, trying to make sure that I am I'm holding my body accountable to that same level that I'm trying to hold myself accountable on, to on the hill. Um, and it's it's cool. It's, it's a new level of commitment. And um, it feels good. It feels good when you're up on the mountain and nothing's holding you back. You, you don't feel tired. I mean, everyone gets tired, but you, you know that you're in the best shape that you can be. That gives you even more confidence when you're up here. Well, I think you've motivated the girls and the boys. <laughs> um, I think the fact that Louis in the um, in the article as well yeah. sort of helps encourage um, both male and females. But I think that you've really said to everybody that, you know, you do have to be fit and strong. Yeah, absolutely. And Louis is. Louis is, uh, he's ripped. He's been working hard too, and, and it shows. So... Yeah, I'm psyched for Louie too. Have him on, on, on in the mag too. All right, well, thanks for your time and uh, have fun and uh, enjoy your trip back to the US. Thanks, Darren. And the sun's coming out. Woo! <laughs>